Hello, we're getting ready to change the spark plugs on my daughter's 2008 Honda CRV. It has just almost 104,000 miles on it. Not real sure if these have ever been changed, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Here's my helper. How you doing, Abby? All right, we're going to go ahead and just show you some of the equipment that we'll be using. So, these are the spark plugs. All the links will be in the description but these are a ngk spark plug a very good brand and an oem item there and then we have some uh, dusting spray that's optional but you'll see me using that some dielectric grease some copper anti-seize and then we have um, a 3 8 inch uh, torque wrench. This is a cup of strong black coffee. This is uh, essential to the job. And then we have a little uh, magnetic parts tray. And then for our 3 8 inch socket, we have, this is something I'm gonna put a link in the description as long as I can remember where, uh, where I ordered it. This is a part that's worth getting. Um, it has a flexible end to grab the spark plug and it has a magnet inside so it will not let go of the spark plug and then it's always a good idea when you do these to make sure you have if necessary if you've never done the job on that vehicle before have a extension this is a six inch extension for a three eighths and it's a kind that that locks in and so uh, this may be needed uh, to get deep enough in there I'll find that out in just a little bit and uh, this is a 10 millimeter uh, to take the cover off so you really don't need a lot so one of the things I wanted to show you was on the the spark plugs so I'm gonna take those out of the box and show you something on those first Okay, when you get spark plugs, they should come pre-gapped. Honda says they want them to be 1.0 to 1.1 millimeters of a gap. And the measurement they're talking about is this distance. In that little gap right there in between where it fires. And um, So this is a gapping tool. It'll have millimeters on one side and inches on the other. So this said 1.0 to 1.1 should be the gap. Now I've checked all these. The first one was a little bit less than one, so I had to open that up a little bit. The second and third one were perfect. This fourth one, let's look at it. So we're gonna take, they come with this little cover. You wanna keep the, there's a washer on there. You wanna make sure that stays on there. And so I'm going to try to do this while holding the phone. So please uh, be patient with the video. So you, you start by sliding the spark plug on at the, at the narrowest part. See how that ramps up and gets, gets thicker? And so we're going to slide it up that ramp until it stops. Okay, you want to be very careful with these iridium. You don't want to scrape them. So see, it's a little less than one. So what we're going to do is ever so gently, I'm going to I'm going to bend the top up a little bit. So I'm going to have to set the phone down. Oh, maybe I can go up. just put a little pressure on it with the tool. Okay, and then see see if I can. Uh, Slide it up some more. So let's try it again. Okay. So now it goes up to there. And you can sell and pass the one now. And just so you know, that's just barely. Like you're, it doesn't take hardly any pressure at all to change a gap. So now we know that they're all gapped correctly. So now we're going to go out to the car and, and get started okay so we have a little magnetic parts holder the first step is to use a 
10 millimeter to remove one, two, three, and four. And so we just uh, crack these open, get them, get them all loosened. And then we can get rid of our, our socket head there and just use the, use this and just kind of unloosen these. Tray. There's at least one of these. I think it's this one that doesn't actually remove and it stays attached to the cover. So we're just going to loosen that. But I don't think it actually removes. We'll find out in a minute. Yeah, that's a nut. So the first one was this uh, this bolt, and the second one was just a, or the third one was a nut. The second one we think stays on there. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if. If this is loosened enough, nope, it's still on there. Alright. So, yep, it stays on there. It stays with the cover. So, just remember that, that the second one stays with the cover. So, we're going to set these off to the side. So, when you look at this, you're going to see that this would be where our first bolt went in. This looks like there's something missing, but that's actually the second bolt that stayed with our outer cover. It threads in right there. This bolt looks like it's different, it's sticking up, but that would be the third, the nut that we took off of our cover would thread on there. And then our, our other bolt is right here. So that's why they look a little different. So don't think that you're missing something right there. Um, so we're gonna loosen up this and uh, this one and this one and get our uh, ignition coils out. So we're gonna be unplugging this electrical connector off of all four cylinders and we'll be uh, removing our ignition coils so we can get to our spark plugs. So we use the same 10 millimeter socket setup for, for the ignition coils that we just got done using for our cover. So we'll just kind of crack these, crack all these loose. This one I'm gonna need to figure out a longer tool to get in there. Okay, so for this one, we went to a 10 millimeter deep socket so that, so that it can fit over that and still reach the nut. So that's, you might wanna have one of those on hand for that. So now that we've got those loose, we're just gonna gonna finish them off there okay just to kind of prevent this is something optional but if you have a can of this uh, just like electronics duster this air in a can not a bad idea at this step just to go ahead and dust this off because what you don't want is to get anything down in the spark plug when we start removing this stuff. So you want this work area to be very clean.
really didn't see much come off, but not a bad idea. All right, so now we're gonna gently uh, remove these blue electronic connectors from our ignition coil. So I'm gonna need to use two hands to do that. Okay, here's how I do this. So I started to pull up a little bit on this coil and then you need to press in right here and then it pulls out like that. So we're gonna do that on, let's just, we'll just do one at a time just to keep things simple. So we'll take our ignition coil out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see how deep these spark plugs are to see if we need our six inch extension. Okay, I'm not hitting it yet, so yes, definitely have a six inch extension. So I'm gonna put that extension on the end of my ratchet, of my three eighths inch ratchet. So this is my setup. I got my ratchet, I got my three eighths inch, uh, excuse me, three eighths six inch extension, and then I have that specialty tool on the end. So now I'm gonna make sure that's really grabbing it because I don't want it to fall off in there. Now we're gonna go down and get it. Okay. Okay. So it took a little bit to loosen that. Okay. Is there enough room for the wrench to go all the way around? Let's go take a look at this. Okay, that's our first one. Let's see what it looks like. Let's pull it out the end there. Got our washer that stayed, that uh, got our washer that stayed on there. So that's good that it's not down in the engine. See what that looks like. Compared to our new one. Okay. Just see what they had in there. Looks like they had the same one, so that's good. All right, so. Okay, so a couple of things. We're ready to put this new spark plug in. We're to torque this down to 13 foot-pounds. So I have a 3 8 inch torque wrench over here. Torque wrenches are not to be stored at the zero mark. They're to be stored at the 10 foot-pound mark. Unless you have like a really small one, then the smallest setting above zero, basically. So this one you may not be able to see it all on the video, but it's set to ten. So we're going to rotate this lower dial. Uh, it's on zero right now, so we're going to rotate it clockwise until one, two, three. The three lines up right here, so ten plus three is thirteen. So we're going to do that right now, and then we're going to take. A very very small amount of this copper anesthes and put just a small amount on these threads but not too close to the bottom okay so we put a very thin layer of uh, copper anesthes and we went ahead and did all four of them at the same time since it's messy and now 
we're going to take some of this dielectric grease and put on the end of this rubber boot of the ignition coil. Same kind of idea, just a very small amount. So I squeeze, squeeze a little bit out of the tube. I'm just going to kind of rub it on the end here. All right. Can't see it very well. Yeah, you can. You can see it. So it's not thick. But just putting it on the end of the boot. Okay, so we're going to take our spark plug. We're going to put it up into our, our magnet. Up in our socket here. So we have it up in there, the magnet's holding it in. Okay, so our magnet's holding that in. I'm gonna go over here. And I'll put it down in the hole. Okay. Now we're gonna start. I'm gonna take this handle off. So I can just do this by hand. Okay, so now we're going to take our torque wrench that's already set to 13 foot pounds, which is not a lot. Just gonna, we're going to slowly turn that until we hear a click. Okay, there's our click. So we're going to take out our socket. We have our first new spark plug installed. So now we're going to take our boot. And put it back in the right orientation, which is with the place for the bolt to go on the left and the electrical plug in on the right. And then as I put this in, I'll just kind of plug this back in. So I'm going to have to set my phone down to do that. So it very easily just snaps back in. Just snug it up there. And we're going to do the same process for the next three. Okay, so we followed that same procedure and finished replacing the spark plugs in all four uh, and all four ignition coils and so now we need to put our bolts back in to the ignition coils and we're to put these back in at 8.7 pound feet of torque so, okay so it helps if you kind of put your eyes back there and line up the hole before you start to put that bolt in remember we skipped the second one because it's held in by the cover so now we're going to move over to our third one, which was our special, our special long one. Let me just kind of get several threads in there. And grab our fourth one. Okay. So grab our special long one. That's our fourth one. Our third one was another one of these. Okay, so now we're just going to use our long socket by hand, just kind of snug these up so 
we got the first one. Skip the second one since it's held in by a cover. <clears throat> and the third one, which is just like the first one. And that's our fourth one that, that had the special longer one. Okay, so those are all snug. So now we're going to use our torque wrench to 8.7 foot pounds. Turn it till we hear a click. It's not much. Okay. So now we're going to put on our cover. So when putting that cover on, since that second, this uh, bolt that stays with the cover has to line up with the coil. You can save yourself some frustration. And just like with the other bolts, you got to line up the coil first. So you just got to get where you can look in there and line up the hole. So we're going to line that up first. Okay, we got it lined up. So now we're going to put our cover in place. over there get that up on the line that up there line that up there and just kind of hand turn this to test that it's that it's in there right okay so on that second one just kind of push down on the on the bolt a little bit until it turns easily just kind of snug it up just a little and then we'll do the same with the and tighten the outside one there. And tighten the outside one there. And then you got this little nut that goes over that one. Now the only one that you need to use a torque wrench on is this one because it's going into the ignition coils, whereas the other ones are not. So we're going to use this. Okay, there's our click. It's at 8.7. So now we have our regular socket. We're just going to finish uh, tightening up these others. Snug these up. Okay, so the other three are snugged up. Then we use the torque wrench on just that second one since it goes into the ignition coil. All right, this job is done. I'm gonna start the car up, make sure everything sounds good. But that's it. Very simple. Uh, the price is going to vary on the spark plugs. I'll put a link in the description, but those were right around $37 or so on Amazon. Hope that's helpful.